Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure distribution in SQL Server replication, and we'll be using two ways to do it using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. Before we go ahead and configure distribution, I just wanted to give a, a brief overview. Uh, distribution basically is configured on a SQL Server where you want to use replication. Basically, replication has three parts. Uh, three servers or uh, some of the uh, all these components right here distributor publisher and subscriber they all can be configured on one server on one server that you can do all of these but uh, that's not that's just uh, probably uh, a lab environment but in your test dev and in your organization environment usually the best practice is that you should have your distributor uh, a one server and publisher um, the other servers in your organization wherever you want to uh, publish the data to any other server using replication uh, feature of SQL Server that become the publisher and the subscriber is what receives the data from the publisher um, and in your organization there would be many servers uh, where you want to uh, replicate the data from source to destination destination becomes the subscriber and source becomes the publisher and the, the guy that who basically takes care of uh, moving the data from the publisher to distribute uh, to uh, subscriber that's called distributor in order to basically start the replication you need to configure you need to have one distributor if you already have a distributor in your organization you can go ahead and use that and uh, uh, con configure your publisher and subscriber so but in this video we're going to go ahead and um, uh, configure the distributor uh, also known as distribution when you configure distribution in SQL Server what it does back behind the scene it creates a, a, a database called distribution database and you can name that database anything you want to but uh, distrib I would leave it default name distribution so we're, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do that um, this is my SQL Server I have two SQL servers uh, one would be my publisher and other would be my subscriber uh, in this particular scenario and since I only have two SQL servers in in my lab in in this demo what I'm going to do is configure one SQL server as a, a, a distributor so it will act as a publisher or subscriber as well as it'll act as distributor so in order to do that in order for SQL server to act as a distributor you have to configure the distribution so we're gonna go ahead expand the server that where you want to configure the distribution so go on the replication when you expand the instance you will see the replication tab right here you right click on the repli replication and click on configure distribution click next the wizard will start now the first option you get is um, this server where you're trying to configure the uh, distribution will act as a distributor will act its own distributor sql server will create a distribution database and log on this server so basically in this particular demo yes we wanted to do that but if you have the distributor in your network already configured you can go ahead and click on second option and add that server uh, in order to use the replication feature of SQL Server so in this uh, demo we're gonna go ahead and select the first option yes we want uh, this particular SQL Server instance to act as its own distributor so we're gonna go ahead and click next uh, this is the snapshot folder whenever it creates first time um, every replication that you uh, create on SQL Server first time it happens back behind the scene is create the snapshot and uh, it distribute the snapshot from publisher to sub, uh, subscriber so where it saves the snapshot right here it saves the snapshot so if you um, if you have a, a specific directory in your organization where you would like to have replication snapshots um, saved you can give uh, right here um, in this um, in this particular local server right here you can go ahead and change the path if you would like to so we're gonna go ahead and click next we're okay with this particular path keep in mind that um, this path plays an important role when you're doing the configuration uh, of a distribution that any user that is creating right here or SQL Server agent if you give SQL Server agent to handle the replication then that's a, that user particular user needs to have permission to write and read from this folder that's why it becomes really important so I just thought that I should mention it keep in mind guys so we're gonna go ahead and click next 
this is the distribute database name you can name as you know if, if you wanted to if you don't like distribution database name you can change it and this is the folder distribution uh, database and log files right here if you wanted to create it somewhere else the data file and log file you can go ahead and do that best practices are that you not you do not keep the data file and log file on the same drive but this is my lab environment this is uh, just a demo environment so i'm okay i don't have any other drive basically so that uh, i could make the log file to go on any other drive so i'm okay with that but you have an option to do that click next up here is the database name uh, it's going to uh, right here it's going to be a publisher and a distributor so we're gonna go, we're okay with that so we're gonna go ahead and click next and up here the, this is important and um, I, I think that uh, every good DBA should do this that um, configure distribution and generate script file with the step to configure the uh, distribution you should always do that this becomes the backup of your uh, replication you know all the you should have the the all the scripts you should always generate scripts of your replication so in case you have to disable the replication you have to delete the replication and there are many scenarios when you have to disable the replication in SQL Server so at that point you don't have to go through all that all you need to do is get the script and run the script on your target server so this is kind of important but uh, it's up to you if you don't want it to generate a script I already have the script which we will use in a second um, and uh, we will use that script to configure the same thing what we're doing using SQL Server Management St Studio graphic user interface so we're gonna go ahead and click next and finish this should go through the uh, configuration of the distribution and after that we will see if it has created the database so it's everything is successful we're gonna go ahead and close and look in our system database right now nothing is there the distribution database should be there right here is distribution database so this is how basically you can figure your uh, um, distribution uh, to use the replication feature on SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface. Now what we're gonna do, uh, we're going to go ahead, uh, this is in SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server 2014, you can go ahead and disable. Uh, before that, if you wanted to uh, basically clear the replication, you have to use SP underscore removed replication store procedure. Um, this is the store procedure that you need to use uh, in order to basically clear all the all your replication and delete maybe manually uh, your distributor because right if you go into the system database and right click on the database there is no such thing which says that delete this database using SQL Server Management Studio if you try to drop this database it's going to give you some errors as well so uh, in SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server uh, 2014 this is a nice feature that you can click on uh, replication and up here you have an option called disable publisher publishing and distribution if you click on that and click next and click on yes disable publishing on this database that means that it's going to uh, delete the distribution uh, on this database it's not going to be act as a distributor anymore it's not going to be publisher anymore so it's going to go ahead and uh, delete that database so um, as we saw that we did SQL Server Management Studio um, using SQL Server Management Studio now we're going to go ahead and uh, disable this delete that database and it's much easier to delete the database uh, like this and you can generate the script and use that script later on if you wanted to use that so we're going to go ahead and click next and finish this should basically delete the database distribution database that it has created so close let's go in our system database right now we see that let's refresh it and we don't see distribution database so it also um, I just wanted to show you that how to disable the replication uh, on SQL Server 24 uh, again 2014 and 2012 it works but not on 2008 there are other ways to remove the replication from SQL Server instance uh, and we will use that uh, when we will use uh, SQL Server 2008 instance so um, we're gonna go ahead and load our script now and this is configure distribution script so I'm going to go ahead and run this script
All right. So if we go back to our databases and see the distribution database is created, everything we didn't get any error up here. We created the distribution using SQL script and let's go quickly through this so what it does is it add distributor and this is going to be the distributor and this is going to be the database and database log file and data file will be there as we saw in SQL Server Management Studio so if you change the database name in your script did not if you do not like uh, distribution then you can change the database name keep in mind when you use the script wherever the distribution uh, database is mentioned you need to change that to your desired database uh, it's fairly simple right here it creates the snapshot just like we saw in SQL Server Management Studio snapshot folder right here replication data extended these are extended properties and add the publisher in the end when we do that this is going to also be the publisher and which database it should use it should use distribution database when it act as a publisher so we'll, when we will create in next demo we'll create uh, the publication uh, then you will see that uh, it it really uses uh, back behind the scene distribution database to get all the system store procedures and tables and everything that replication uses back behind the scene so basically this is it this is how you uh, configure distribution in SQL Server replication so using SQL Server Management Studio using T SQL script and I hope this video helps